if there's a tunnel coming. Um, yeah, it's fucking 2 a.m. There's no one outside right now. We're about to have a, a classic little sesh, a car sesh. Listen, I thought In-N-Out was open until 2 a.m. for some reason. That's my Texan ass. That shit wishes it was Whataburger. Um, so we can't do that. Carl's Jr.'s really ass. I don't know, there's not a lot of late night food out here unless you wanna like sit down in a restaurant type shit and I'm not trying to do that so we're getting fucking Taco Bell, all right? 2 a.m. Taco Bell. And I got a couple carts on me as well. Downshift again. Hey, so we're about to have a good time, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be a mukbang. I fucking hate eating on camera, but it'll be a good time, okay? We're at the bell, baby. Look, they got a little walk-up drive-thru. That's pretty cool. Hi, uh, one second, okay? No worries. Uh, can I get your Uber Eats? Ah, uh, no. Oh, sorry, what was that? Hold on, give me one second, okay? I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I found a nice little parking spot under the light. Come on, bro. I'm not even sure if you can see the light. Oh, God, this is going to be so tight. I was going to do this in my garage, bro. I got a weird feeling about this. Like, I'm in a quiet neighborhood with, like, a loud car. I'm about to start hotboxing and shit. There's at least one Karen. At least one Karen in this neighborhood who's going to make a little something. You know, I understand. It's 2 a.m. You know, it's actually a fucking, like, Monday night, too, so... <laughs> I got you guys. Fuck it, bro. We're posting up right here. Actually, it gives a it gets a little bit of a vibe right here. I feel like if it was in my garage, it's not much of like a late night. Like, bro, it, I'm in an alleyway right now. All right. If there was ever a more sketchy place, the whole plan was to like pull up to In and Out 1:30 ish, get my food, and like chill there for 20 minutes before they close, like in the parking lot and smoke. Honestly, I wanted to take this off. It was gonna be a whole vibe. We're gonna have to do that later this week, maybe next week or whatever. Uh, in the meantime, though. We got Taco Bell, <laughs> all right? We got a little Baja Blast action. Actually, shout out to the employee who was a fan and he said, I can't give you much, but I'll give you a second drink. And I said, all right, I'll take that shit. Like I said, I'm not much of a mug banger. In fact, I hate eating in front of people, especially like this would be weird as hell. Like if I'm with somebody and they don't get food, I'm not gonna eat. Like I'm not just gonna eat. In front. It's weird, bro, it's weird. I don't know. Maybe that's like a personal thing. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. I can watch mug bangs. Like I'll watch people eat like 10,000 calorie challenges and like full day Days of eating from like bodybuilding. I'll watch all that shit, right? I'll watch some weird food challenges. I love it, but I'm not gonna, I don't know, I don't know, bro. Or maybe it's just when it's by myself solo because when we do the food videos on Pine Park, like the munch and we go out and smoke weed and try to find the best food, that's fun, like I really enjoy that. But I guess it's because there's a cameraman and I got, I'm mic'd up and it feels more official. If I was to just like start scarfing down in my car right now, I'd feel fucking weird. I don't know what it is. So we'll hold the Taco Bell like 10, 15 minutes while we sesh, man. This is not Taco Bell. This is something very interesting, man. This is what we are going to be smoking on today. A lot of you guys have tried Jetty before. A lot of you guys have told me about it. Never tried their actual carts. The only thing I've tried from Jetty are their little Pax Pods way back in the day. I made a video on them, but I've never tried their actual like brand concentrates type shit. And we're not doing the carts today. We're making our own. We're filling our own pods. We got blue banana split for the live resi over here. And then they actually have solventless syringes as well these are called dablicators not syringes so i'm really interested to see what's good with these this is kemberry blaze so we got two two very interesting flavors right here and as for the devices we're going to be using we'll turn on the light just for this one time damn that's kind of bright man shout out to silicone for providing these two devices for me this is their flare box too and this is their toko which comes in a variety of colors the coolest thing about these in my opinion is that they have a fucking screen that shows exactly what percentage battery you're at it has a low and high temp setting it's pretty clean bro this one's got it as well the little screen down there we're only on 90 percent on that one man i lost a little bit of juice the hardware's sick you can just open it up open this little tank and you got yourself a little something in there baby now i'm not gonna lie i'm not sure if this is even the proper material to put in this like this might actually be too thick to melt via a coil but we're gonna find out together i think it should work i think i've done it before but this is really these little dablicators these are really for like joints or to put it on bowls or you can even dab with them because the tip is metal which is pretty clean so let's see what's popping real quick yeah bro look at this thing it's crazy what in the world so you just like take the cap off it's all metal right there and then you can just fill up your own shit Damn, this is a big chamber. A cool thing about this one specifically is that there's two coils right here. So I don't know if you guys have seen these like two, three gram cartridges and shit coming out. I really don't trust them. And that's mainly because 
they're meant for nicotine, right? Like, it's only one coil. It's meant for really, really thin liquids and oils and stuff in there. So by the time you get to that second gram or third gram, like, it's burnt. It's disgusting, bro. But this fixes that problem. This little double coil right here. Oh, shit. It's squeezing out already. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought. So I guess you literally just... Oh, shit. It's squeezing the fuck out of it. Wait, this is kind of crazy. I can just squeeze the entire gram out real quick. Hang on, we're gonna... Uh, uh, uh. There you go, it's how easy it is. Look at that. Look at that golden amber tip right there. Okay. Close it up, seal it up. This is for you guys, man. If this shit doesn't work or if my lungs explode or something happens down the line, we'll be able to pinpoint the exact time it happened, actually. So, without further ado, thank you, Silicone, for providing the za. Thank you, um, I guess I bought that shit from Jetty. So, it was only like 30 bucks, actually, so not that bad. Okay, the preheat is the move, obviously. That isn't, uh, obviously, if you're gonna make your own cart, you gotta preheat and make sure all the oil is soaked. <coughs> oh my god, wait, this actually tastes good. Damn. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like we're fucking moving and grooving, boys. Hell yeah. Um, where's my bevy at? I don't get a straw with this. I feel like I don't even need to turn it up to high, man. I'm kind of chilling. <coughs> yeah, going back to earlier, can we fucking talk about how this is? I mean, in LA, LA, <coughs> I'm in the valley now. In LA, there's great food options, bro. I used to live in K Town, like Koreatown. Almost everything's open 24 hours, I feel like. Like, I could have gotten, like, a crazy ass, like, homemade meal from, like, a little Korean lady at, like, 3 a.m. The craziest soup you've ever had. You can just, like, walk in. It's awesome. But here in the valley, everything closes at 10 it's so much more i don't want to say like texas but it is kind of like texas there's like two or three food options open past 12 it's like everyone's families and goes to sleep early not really like a crazy nightlife or anything over it's pretty chill actually like i don't know i had my fun i had like two years in k-town slash hollywood area which was fucking crazy but over here is like I, there's a lot more roads, there's a lot more tunnels. I can drive the cars a lot faster. It's it's a bigger vibe over here, 100%. Everything's a lot quieter. There's like a fraction of the amount of homeless people, which people don't like to say out loud. They'll say like the area's safer or it's cleaner or it, bro, there's not as much homeless. You can just fucking say it. You know what I mean? There's not as much crime or vandalism. It's like it's. You know who's doing it. <laughs> I wish like the bajillion dollars that we all paid in taxes went towards something, right? The roads still suck. Fucking, I complain every video about it. I'm sorry. Taxation's a scam, man. Don't let them get you guys. Especially these, right? These two little bad boys that I got, they were like 30 something dollars each. Out the door without like crazy taxes, it would have been like 70 bucks, right? Like I took out $100 cash to pay at the dispo. And I was expecting, $30 each thing, maybe I'd have like a 20 left over, you know, $10 a tax, I got a 20 left over, ideally, in an ideal world, you know, I can get some lunch or something with that, maybe even pocket a few dollars after, wow, that's a, that's a hundred dollars stretched right there, you know, but no, all a hundred dollars went towards these two devices, because it was like 67, 68 dollars subtotal, but then it's 35 percent taxes, bro, so total was like 97 or something, and I was just like, keep the change, bro. Like, the fuck am I gonna do with $3, you know? Crazy. And that $30 of taxes that I paid just doesn't go towards shit. <coughs> it's crazy. <coughs> Damn, my car is kinda loud, just that idle, bro. Those fucking Karens would've definitely been like, me, 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 me. But now I think I'm more in like an alley. Actually, I am in an alley, I'm not liking it. This is fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, that's another thing. In Texas, this would be, like, kind of chill. That's why I wanted to do it in the In-N-Out parking lot because there's, like, always people and employees and, like, chilling in the In-N-Out parking lot is, like, a very Cali thing to do. I feel like people just do it all the time. Like, I drive by and there's people just chilling, you know? So I was like, damn, that would have been, a cr like, a crazy vibe. Maybe even, like, a palm tree or something in the background. It would have been the most California video ever. But now it's, like, the most American video ever. 
just posted up in an alley with fucking Taco Bell. Like, <laughs> it was going to be so cool. Hey, listen. All right. I got you guys soon. I ruined the surprise for the next video. Wow, he's just smoking, man. I feel like 2023 was the year of the banana, right? I mean, it was like maybe runs before that or something. Oh, my God. The dirty bird is out. The ghetto bird, whatever you want to call it. Oh, car behind me. Fuck. Where is he going? All right. Shit might be getting a little weird out here, fellas. Yup, it's past 2 a.m. On the dot, it's fucking 2.02 right now. That's what I'm saying. See, now I would have been leaving in and out. It would have been like a whole vibe, but I planned it out wrong. Silly me here, right? <coughs> 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 Alright, we'll finish this. Finish this somewhere else. I'm creeped. There we go. Now I feel nice and secure, baby. Now I can chill. Next up, we got the Flare Box, too. Now, silicone, I'm pretty sure, is a company that doesn't even sell direct to consumer. So, if you wanted one of these batteries, you kind of can't even buy it, bro. You got to convince one of the companies that you buy to use this battery, if that makes any sense, you know? So, if Je Jetty were to come out with pods, be like, yo, use silicone, you know what I mean? Type shit. I honestly do not get the rhymer. Oh, my goodness. I was going to say, I don't get the reasoning or the rhyming or whatever you want to say to open those packages right there. <coughs> just go wow the color of this is way fucking different bro it is way different it's like it's like piss yellow almost bro this is crazy give it a good push oh yeah oh bro Nah, what? These motherfuckers know what they're doing at Jetty, bro. No wonder, dude, I'm high as fuck. No wonder why y'all are fucking always talking to me to try Jetty and stuff. This is crazy. It's like night and day difference. Like, I mean, the taste on the first one was pretty good. Don't get me wrong. It was like a fucking six and a half, almost seven, you know? But, dude. The smoothness on this is ridiculous, but it's really the flavor. Like, I'm not coughing at all, but it, oh, it tastes so fucking, bro, what is the flavor? I almost taste more banana in this one, man. This is Kemberry Blaze. I have no idea what the cross is for this bad boy. It's an indica, though. Son. Wow. I'm like mind blown. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god i'm like shaking my car back and forth fuck destroying the brakes and shit yeah <coughs> i mean there's two three different temp settings on these bad boys you really don't need the highest one like the low one <coughs> burns it at a great temperature you get some great flavor <coughs> and you're getting plenty clouds i'm fucking cooked I feel like this almost is a vape, you know? It, it, I like the look of it, too. It looks like a vape. You could bring this wherever the fuck you want. You know what I'm saying? People aren't going to know the wiser until they smell that fucking pack coming through. You know what I'm saying? Dude. I haven't gotten this high off fucking carts in a minute, bro. That's why I feel like... I feel like these cart companies are jugging, man. They're, like, put... They're cutting... They're they're putting something in these carts. Because I'm fucking obliterated. I have not been this high off carts in a long time, bro. There's no way. <clears throat> it's the new meta, boys. It's the new move. Fill your own carts. 2024. One last hit. I can't even fucking think right now. Holy shit. I'm about to munch on this Taco Bell. Damn, I should have put it in my oven or something. I mean, it's only like 20 minutes old at this point, I guess. That's like some DoorDash shit, I guess. Fuck. I hate eating cold food. You guys ever sit there and let your food get cold because you can't find anything to watch? It's fucked. All right, last hit. Whoa. It's got like a fucking head brush. Wow. I don't know if that was right. I don't know if that was normal. I don't know if I've ever gotten that before. Cheers, though. Mm. 
Yeah, this is straight wax, man. There's no filler, cutter, whatever the fuck else they're putting in. This is straight dabs. Um, I'm cooked. I'm fucking... That's all for me, boys. I'll see y'all in the next video, alright? Make sure to fucking like, comment, subscribe. Wow. Thank God I wasn't down the street and shit. Shout out to you guys for sticking by till the very end. Shout out to the homie for giving me a second bevy. Shout out to um, Life for bringing me to this crazy ass moment. And I'm smoking pens at 2 a.m. with Taco Bell and my Corvette. Who knew this would be a thing? It's because of you. Follow your dreams. That's what we're on 2024. We're fucking breaking down barriers, following our dreams, making money, making smiles, laughing. I love you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Shout out Silicone.